So I was scouring YouTube trying to find one of the better Enderman farms out there for my world now that I have taken out the Ender Dragon. I took a look at so many different farms out there. I tested how many Endermen I can kill in a minute and uh, how fast I can get to level 30 in that time as well. This one, which is based off Name Bomb's design, I have tweaked myself a little bit and created this. It can kill up to 450 Endermen in a minute and get me to level 30 in 45 seconds. It's quick, it's efficient and it's easy to build and you don't need a lot of materials. So I'm going to show you how to build this. Well, let's get into it. So the items you'll need to build this are fairly simple. They're all in this chest. I think one of the harder pieces to get is going to be your name tag, but it should be all right if you've got villagers already, especially a librarian, as I think it is mostly one of the last trades you get with librarians. The leaves up at the top here are for the main build. The leaves at the bottom here are for you to bridge out to the area that you're going to need for the build. Now you do need a lot because you're spawning endermen away from the main island, so over 120 blocks away. So I would suggest going an extra 32 just to be safe. And then I would suggest some form of temporary block. I'm using wool for this just because it's easy to get from sheep. And you're going to need carpets anyway to build it. So let's get going. So grab your lava and water bucket. You're going to go to one end of your island. So I have a spot here. I am going to pop the lava down. And then we are going to wait until that goes all the way down to Y0. Once it's done that, you're going to pick up your lava, give it a tick till it falls down like so, and then drop your water bucket. This will create a column of cobblestone all the way down to Y0. And while that column has been built, I want you to pick up the bridging blocks that you've got. I need your oak slabs, I need your hoppers, and I need your barrel. Also pick up your temporary blocks, make sure you've got food, and I would suggest having a carved pumpkin on your head, just so it's a bit easier. Now this is where things start to get a bit scary. You're going to jump into your water stream, go all the way down to Y0, and at the very bottom where the cobblestone ends, place your first leaf block. Crouch so that you do not fall off the edge, and slowly place your leaf blocks, and then bridge all the way out with the remaining blocks. You should have a line looking like this. I would pause it here if you haven't finished yet. From here, you're going to go down to the bottom half of the slab, like so, and you're going to create a 3x3 three three area for you to stand on. Get your temporary blocks, place one at the corner away from the bridge, get your barrow or your chest, depending on what you're using, get your hoppers, place three along like so, and make sure they face into the barrow. And then behind, away from the bridge, point these three hoppers into the first three. And this will catch all your ender pearls and allow you to stop quickly. Take two temporary blocks and place them in the corner like so. And then take a slab and place it on the top half of the temporary blocks like so. Take away your temporary blocks. And then you're going to create a three by two area. Like that. And you're going to walk back up to the bridge, walk out. Walk away a wee bit and then place your last slab like so. This allows you to crouch under quite quickly and get out into the area for killing the enderman. If you're still completing that, pause here. Let's go back to where you stored your items and we're going to get the next part complete in a wee second. Alright, now that you've got your items, collect everything in the chest apart from your buckets. And then we're going to head back and we're going to finish this farm. Alright, now that we're back, remember to take away any temporary blocks that shouldn't be there. Go on top of your hoppers here like so. You're going to look at the slabs that are above the farm. You're going to place your fence posts like so, straight across the front here. You're going to take trapdoors and you're going to place three like this above the hoppers. And then we're going to open them up like so. Next, we're going to take our leaves. We're going to place one right next to the barrel and then from there we're going to go above the barrel and go up one two and the same around the side here and then from behind the hoppers you're going to place one right behind it and then one above it like so 
and then another one above that and then take the last three trap doors and place them like this open them up so it's easy for the enderman to drop in and then on the other side same again with the hoppers like so i'm going up three now from the back we're going to take one right of the leaves and put it right to the bottom and then a second one right above that drop down and then copy that on both sides like that then another leaf right at the bottom drop down and copy again from this block here we're going to go 20 back the way like this and then we're going to place all the leaves in like so on a three wide bridge come to the end of this bridge and we're going to take our stone or the block that you're wanting the enderman to spawn on and we're going to go back four and then we are going to fill this out evenly on both sides until you run out of blocks and this should be 11 by 4 platform from here you're going to get your leaves again and you're going to go out five in every single direction from one of the stone blocks and create a leaf platform to surround it so your platform should look like this if you've put five in each side i want you to connect these bits up so that it is fully squared off so your platform should now look like this. This allows for pack spawning. So if, uh, if one enderman spawns here, there is a possible chance that they spawn here. They'll spawn on the platform as well, creating loads of endermen. But we still have some oak leaves left over. And what we're going to do here is build a two high wall, four blocks out on both sides like here. This allows for funneling of the mobs and also gives them the height so that they can still see the enderman. So I'm left with five blocks of leaves. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two leaves to here. Right, next bit is the white carpets. So if you haven't built this platform yet, I would pause here and then we'll get started. So the white carpet you're gonna place on top of these leaves. There are fence posts like so. And then this platform here that is covering the area for you to stand. Now, fun part is the Enderman and getting them off without killing yourself. So your platform above should now look like this. And then you're going to double up on each piece of carpet, giving you a layer of extra spawn protection, like so. And now comes the fun part, getting the Endermite. So we need your temporary blocks. You're going to come over to the carpet here in the middle. You're going to pop one here. This is for you to jump up on. And then in the middle block here, you're going to place one. You're going to jump up onto this. Take away that temporary block you used to jump. From this temporary block, go back away from the spawning place and add a temporary block. Go to the side and then go up two and then follow this pattern all the way around creating a too high cage for you to try and spawn an enderman now you're going to get your reel and your minecart you're going to pop your reel down like so so that it faces towards the spawning platform add your minecart and then you're going to get your name tag and your ender pedals and you're also going to take your white carpet as well and we're going to try and get an endermite now this is where the difficulty begins because you can easily die with this so if you are in a hardcore world i'd suggest either having a totem of them dying or severely watch your health because once the endermite spawns in it will try and attack you so on this block here that is where you're going to drop your endermite down you're going to just throw some tame <coughs> You're just going to throw some ender perils until you get the endermite and then die. Not supposed to die, but... So if you were like me and you did die and you somehow get back and you can make your way up, try and jump onto the corner here where the, the minecart is and it's supposed to push you. There we go. So you do need to try and get the endermite in the corner so that you can easily get it in. Whew. That took a bit of work, eh? So once this is done, take away your temporary blocks that, so that you can get to the temporary block underneath the endermite. So get your carpet ready, 
like the block under it and then place a piece of carpet right above so that none of the endermen can spawn onto it. Get rid of all your other temporary blocks and you should be almost complete. Take the rest of your temporary carpets, place one here like so, another one next to the endermite one, another one like this, and then another one like that. And then take away the rest of your temporary blocks, hopefully not dying to the endermite. And this is it complete. And anything that you have spare, then you can just throw away. Then you shouldn't have anything spare. Now, this sword is a netherite sword. It has sharpness 5, sweeping edge, mending and unbreaking 3 on it. I do have a data pack from Vanilla Tweaks that shows you how many mobs you can kill. What we're going to do is we're going to sneak under this fence post here. So this will now count all of the kills that I can do. I want to show you how fast this is and we can get to it. So let's get going. And there we go, 400 deaths, I didn't count the first few, which is annoying sometimes, but hopefully I have got it up so that you can see it. Level 30 in under a minute, lots of kills, and well, as you can see, lots and lots of ender perils, lots and lots of XP, and if you want, you can take the storage and expand it, just remember to spawn proof it. And you can also add an enchantment set up here as well if you want. But this seems to be working really well. I hope that you do enjoy this. Remember to smack that like button, subscribe. The world download is in the description. But because of the way YouTube works, you need to go to my Discord. You'll see it there. And also a Lightmatica schematic should be there for you as well. See you all next time.